Hey, welcome to the follow through. We are looking at Psalm 18. We're not going to get to the entire Psalm. It's, a, it's one of the bigger ones uh, that is there. It's not as big as 119, but it's, it's, it's up there. Uh, and, and it's this incredible song, this expression of, of, of God having saved David from all of these enemies, from all these people that wanted to kill him. Uh, it's, a, it's a really dramatic story uh, and, uh, and one that should, you know, that we can, we can kind of resonate with. Uh, maybe not on that level. Maybe the threats aren't as bad, but they certainly feel difficult to us in those moments, right? Whatever you're up against, God is there with you. So I'm just going to read. Uh, we're going to do 7, 8, 9, and 10, right? We're going to grab a couple of verses today. Let's just take them in uh, and, uh, and just allow this to sort of do its thing on our hearts. All right, you ready? Here we go. David says, Then the earth reeled and rocked. Right, he had talked. He had talked yesterday about God hearing his 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 prayer. His cry had reached God, and the earth reeled and rocked. The foundations also of the mountains trembled and they quaked, because he was angry. Right, God was angry when he heard what was going on to David, what people were doing to him, and the things that he was up against. And so smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Glowing coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew, came swiftly on the wings of the wind. Whoa, I I asked yesterday, man, and and definitely today. uh, Man, let's let's, let's, let's light up those comments with uh, what music would work with this, especially this one. It's like big, heavy, like loud music. Uh, Again, that could be like for me, I, I hear like metal, I hear, you know, I hear really loud, heavy stuff, but it could be classical, man. It could be a lot of timpanis and boom, boom, you know, and, uh, and, and just big, big, big swells. And, and what do you hear? Um, you know, that's kind of cool. I love music and, and just kind of a thing as, as we look at these, um, it's, these are songs and they're meant to uh, not just convey information, but, um, but speak to who God is. And, and show us who God is. And, and God wants to use these words to say, you know, this is how God feels about sin. This is how God feels about the things that happen to us because we're his kids and he loves us. And, and David saying, look, that's the deal. He's not some disinterested CEO of the universe who could care less about you. Uh, he deeply cares. He is there, he knows what's happening. He hears your cries and he comes down and does something about it. And, uh, and what an awesome, awesome thing. And David firsthand experienced that power and that deliverance. And he wants us to know it's real. He wants us to know that, that he is witnessing to it and uh, kind of testifying, if you will, to, to the truth of that and, and how powerful God really is. Uh, and so that we, here's the deal, so that we agree and we go, yeah, that he is that way. And so when I am up against things, no matter what they are, he's got me. What we've been saying day after day, right, this, this whole week, right, the, the, the biggest thing we deal with is, is sin, we, we deal with frustration, we deal with, uh, right, how we have failed, we look at what God wants us to be, we look at this attitude and we're like, man, I just, I'm just not trusting Him, sometimes I'm running away. So, so let's take that to God today and let's hear again that He loved us, let's hear again that Jesus died for us and rose for us, canceled that debt of sin. He destroyed sin and death for us through Jesus. So let's let's just give all that to God and and just embrace the love and the forgiveness that He has given to us and continues to give to us each and every day. I'm praying that that helps you. And if it does, hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody. We'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.